Let's write a C program to check if the user entered number is a prime number or not. Well, prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. For example, if the number is 7, it's perfectly divisible by only by 1 and 7. No other numbers divide 7 to give reminder as 0. So 7 is a prime number. Whereas if the number is 16, 16 is perfectly divisible by 2, 4, 8, etc. So uh, number 16 is not a prime number. Okay, 10 is also not a prime number because 10 divided by 2 gives reminder as 0. So let's write a for loop for a general number x. Consider x as any number. So we need to start dividing x from 2 to x minus 1 because it will be divisible, perfectly divisible by 1 and itself. So we need to leave 1 and itself and then start from 2 to x minus 1. So we need to write for loop to divide x but uh, with all these numbers if any of these number perfectly divide x then it's not a prime number so let's write the for loop so count should start from 2 and then for loop should keep iterating until count is less than x less than x means x minus 1 okay so we can even reduce the number of counts here uh, by writing this a uh, condition that is count is less than or equal to x divided by 2 or else we can we could further reduce the number of iterations by writing count is less than or equal to square root of x it will still give the right results okay so we need to check from 2 to a uh, square root of that number entered by the user so until then until this range we need to divide x and if it's perfectly divisible by any of the numbers between 2 to square root of x then it's not a prime number okay so let's get started with our c program i'll take integer numbers num count and prime i'll assign one to prime so i'll ask the user to enter a positive number and store it inside the address of variable that is integer variable num so now i'll write the for loop for count is equal to 2 we need to start from 2 and not 1 because any number will be perfectly divisible by 1. So count is less than num. Please don't write count is less than or equal to num because if you write equal, it will always be divisible by itself. So it will give wrong results. So you need to write count is less than num and count plus plus. So now let's check if num modulo division count is equal to 0. That is if the number is perfectly divisible by the uh, number present in count then it's not a prime number so i'll assign 0 to prime and break it break out of this loop and because if any one number perfectly divides that number other than one and itself then it's not a prime number okay so we need not check for any other numbers we just break out of that loop and write a if condition if prime is still one you can write prime is equal to one or just write prime so if it's one then percentage d is a prime number remember if prime has one this if prime will always result in true okay any number other than zero will be true so now else it's not a prime number so let's check this out let me okay we have an error here so if we do copy paste we'll skip some of these things so let me compile once again i'll give seven seven is a prime number let's check that out so it's a prime number i'll give 10 10 is not a prime number so 10 is not a prime number well 41 is a prime number let's check that out Okay, it's working. I'll check one more number. 14. 14 is perfectly divisible by 1, 14 and 7 also. So it's not a prime number. Okay, it's working. Now let's optimize the code by reducing the number of iterations of this for loop. I'll take another integer variable inum. So inum is equal to user entered number divided by 2. Previously, if the user entered number is 41, this for loop would execute from 2 to 41. That is 40 times. Now it executes only from 2 to 41 divided by 2 is 20. So it executes only from 2 to 20, that is 19 times, still giving the right results. 
okay 7 is prime number I'll give 10 which is not a prime number I'll give 41 so 14 so 41 doesn't get divided by any number from 2 to 20 so it's a prime number now let's reduce the number of iterations of this for loop even further I'll include math.h library so inum is equal to square root of user entered number so this for loop only executes until count is equal to less than or equal to square root of the user entered number so if user entered number is 41 square root of 41 is 6 so this for loop executes from 2 to 6 times so 41 cannot be perfectly divided by 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 so it's a prime number so we optimized the code a lot by reducing the number of iterations of this for loop still giving the right results so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you